Want to get a beer? What's the problem? Alice, come give me a hand. What have you given her? Metadomidine and ketamine. How much? Five mils and six mils. That's almost twice the dose for her size. Mm. What about the antidote? I've given everything I've got. It's baking hot. Did you take that into consideration? Really, she ran for a while before she dropped. Well, what were you thinking? Can you save her? Danny. Check her vitals. I'll get the antagonist. I don't need you, you to You get be... between me and that animal's welfare. I'll knock you into the middle of next week. Understand? What happened to this place? When I was a kid, this was always hopping. Yeah, the owner's in Cape Town now. He's actually selling it. Let's get some music going. Nah, that thing hasn't worked in months. Forget about it. Let's have a look. Voila! What? How did you do that? I grew up in a squatter camp, which was illegal. Ah. They used to plug us into the national grid, part up the entire community. Oh, yeah? They used to call me Umbai, the French. Well, in that case, can you fix the fridge? The beers are warm. Cheers. Hello. I'd like to book a table for dinner. Oh, I'm sorry, madam. You're fully booked. Now, we both know that's not true. Look, try and see this from my point of view. And what point of view is that? People pay a lot of money to dine here. The last thing they need to see is... My husband? Well, yes. His clothes, his singing in the bar, his talking loudly to the other guests. It's called being alive. Now, I'm going to ask you once more. I'd like to book a table for this evening. No. You'd be welcome, madam, but your husband... He's ten times the man you'll ever be. A thousand times. Well, we certainly hope that you'll both be very happy together, Mrs. Duplessis. Just a long way from here. You arrogant little snob. Perhaps it would be better for all parties if you left the hotel, madam. Now. I wouldn't give you the pleasure, you jumped-up little twit. In fact, I'm going to wash my husband's pants in the bath and hang them up in the foyer. Just in that first pen there. Come on, quick as you can. If she wakes up, we're all in trouble. If she wakes up, it's going to be a medical. That's it, right? All right. Set her down just here, gently. There we go. There we go. Thank you. What can I do? You can get that new monitor up and working. Whoa, this is state of the art. Where'd you get it from? Just do it. Not too clever. How did this happen? Why were you hunting a white lioness? We'll discuss it later. Yes, we will. I've been watching you, Patani. You have? Yeah. Cheers. You remind me of my younger self. Talented, but restless. I thought we were talking about you. You're not happy at Leopard's death. You're good, but you're not happy. I thought I could change it, you know? Make things more efficient. But it's not mine to change. And find something that is. I've always wanted to have my own business. It's true. I just never found the right opportunity, you know? Pulse is very low. I blame you for this. Oh no, not now, please. Can the generator will kick in. She stopped breathing. Right, I'll ventilate her manually. The generator hasn't kicked in. Yeah, we noticed that. Just get out of my way. Alice! No, this is your fault. It's all your fault. Okay. Chip going in. Will one of you go outside and see to the generator, please? We can't work like this. You really think I could do it? Run my own bar? Oh, what's stopping you? This place, I guess. 
Leopards then took me in when they kicked me out of Mara. I couldn't let them down. Well, it's your call. Where's the generator? Caviar for two. That's right. And a bottle of your very finest champagne. Uh, actually, make that two bottles. My husband's thirsty. What's going on? I think it would be better for all parties if you left the hotel now. That's what he said. Who's it? That revolting manager. Looking down his nose at you as if you were something the cat dragged in. Is that all? I'm used to it. Well, I'm not. I think you might find that gown belongs to the hotel. You did all this for me because you knew I'd like the posh hotel and the lovely clothes and the spa. Well, I know you like that kind of thing. Well, it makes me feel rather shallow. Shallow and silly. There's nothing wrong with shallow. I'll prove to you there's more to me than meets the eye. What are you going to do? No one looks down on my husband. Give me your hand. Who is that? That, that is Umbani, the Flash. to do it that back a little lighter, won't you? I feel so alive. I didn't know I was marrying a fugitive. Oi! Oi, oi, oi! Don't mess with body and clock, China! Please! Stop! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Hello, I don't know which of you to thank for this, but thank you. A white lion. My heart stopped beating. Oh, come on, girl. Keep fighting. Come on. Adrenaline? Yeah, straight into the heart. She's dying. There's nothing else anyone can do. Scalpel. Scalpel. I'm going to massage the heart manually. Enough, man. Let her go. That's not the way we do things around here. Swab. And scalpel. <sighs> Inside the chest cavity. How is she looking? <sighs> Her lungs have collapsed. You've got to keep breathing for her. If when I'd started, someone had told me that one day I would have a lion's heart in my hand, I think I'd have become a postman. Liar. Come on. Come on. It's beating. I believe it. <sighs> Keep the pressure up, Alice. This is the last stitch. And... There we go. Is she going to survive? Ask me again in 12 hours. That was, um... Awesome. Not bad for an old school vet, eh? Well, I don't know about you, but I could use a nice cold beer. Yeah, yeah. Do you, uh, do you need me here? No, I'm fine. Well, Lewis, stay and have a beer. Uh, I don't think so.
Hey, how's your back? Good. How's the patient? I'll come and see. You know, you don't get much more low-tech than massaging an animal's heart with your bare hands. I do believe you did it, Mr. Trevani. Couldn't have done it without my glamorous assistant. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you think your brother survived the night? Hmm. Now, with any luck, Vanessa will have him stuffed and mounted above the bar. Life is going to change around here. If you have any more ideas that impact upon this business, you run them by me first. Vanessa... Oh, you're bright, you're bright, and you have brought so much energy tomorrow, and I appreciate it, I do, but you're also new, and you know nothing about wild animals or how to handle... You're right. Don't run until you can walk. There'll be no more hunting on this land, green or otherwise. Fair enough. You know, if it weren't for Danny and Alice, you would have been the cause of a magnificent animal's death. I know. If I had a sister like Alice, I'd be very proud. Oh, Lewis, I wanted to see you. Yeah. You're fired. <sighs> Namza, you look amazing. We are opening a new school building in the township. I'd like you to be my guests. Thanks, Namza, but it won't be possible, I'm afraid. Why not? Well, we're, we're leaving this morning. I now know who you are. You used to bring dead cars to life. Yes, well, um, that was a long time ago. Fatani told me what happened. Your mother... I never knew I was here. Give me a word. It's your news to tell, not mine. But running away is not... not... running away, I'm sorry. We're, we're going home. You are home. Oh, you look beautiful. <laughs> you. Are you going to drive? Of course. Okay. Uh-oh. You meant to be on your honeymoon. <laughs> Thought of you lot destroying our business. Completely put us of our sea breed with sizzle ginger and spring onion. <laughs> Is everything okay? Everything's perfect. <gasps> Fatani, did you manage to kill any of our guests? Only the one. But we told him to stay away from the lions. <laughs> Actually, Caroline, if I could have... He a did very well. I've heard nothing but praise from the guests. Oh, thank you, Patani. Yeah. You. Uh, 